Okay, so you've heard me talk about NET, the neuroemotional technique, and maybe you've gotten excited about trying it. But then, womp womp, you realize there's nobody near you who does it, or it's just too expensive. And once again, you feel screwed. I get it, it sucks. But here's the thing, healing your mind-body trauma is still possible even without NET. People were doing it before NET existed and they'll keep doing it in the future. The principles behind NET are timeless and today I'm going to show you how you can use those principles to help yourself. Here's the nutshell version. To get a healing shift, you need three things. One, identify the trauma or stress. You need a specific event tied to a strong feeling. If you can't feel the emotion, it's hard to get a release. Two, engage your body, whether you're holding points on your wrist or forehead like in NET, tapping like with EFT, or lying on pillows like in the method from 1942, your body has to be part of the process. Three, breathe. Big, slow, deep breath. This is what tells your reptile brain that you're safe and it's okay to let go. Let me show you how this works. Say I've been stressed out about a recent bullying event. Maybe someone at work treated me like crap. Instead of focusing on that, I think back, way back, to my first memory of being bullied. Ah, uh, Edward from first grade. He was such a dick. He'd spit at me and call me horrible names when no adults were looking. So I focus on that memory. I let myself really feel the feelings I had back then. Small, powerless, hurt. Then I hold my points, or you can try tapping or another method, and I breathe slow and deep. As I process that original event, I start to feel better. Not just about Edward, but about the recent event too. That's because the body updates all the connected stress along the way. If you're dealing with something stressful now, try thinking back to the first time you felt that feeling. Find the original event, feel it fully, engage your body and breathe it out. If this resonates with you and you'd like more help with figuring out how to find those original events, let me know in the comments and I can make a video about that. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on healing your mind and your body.